I've always wanted to make lots of money and I've always had an interest in business and finance, which has led me to this point in my career. Hi, my name is Ewan Copeland and I am 25 years old. I make $37,000 per year and I live in London, England. My salary consists of my trainee accountant role at a big company in the UK and also my side hustle income from this YouTube channel. So living in London, housing is my biggest expense. This includes rent, electric, water and Wi-Fi. So for me, it works at about $1,100 per month. And this is to live in a nice area with nice amenities and is very close to public transport, like the train going past. We even managed to negotiate the price down $200, which has allowed us to save and invest more money. Since the pandemic has started, I've not been able to travel as much as I like. Me and my girlfriend usually go on a couple of trips into Europe every single year and find a cheap destination to go. However, because of the pandemic, we could not go abroad and we have been staying inside the UK and exploring the UK, which is significantly cheaper. We've recently visited the countryside and the beaches of Wales, which is a really nice experience. And in the next month, we are heading up to the Lake District where we will stay for five nights and this will cost us around $400, inclusive of travel and food and accommodation. I spend about $400 per month on food and going out, which includes food shopping, petrol, and going for coffees with my girlfriend. We don't often eat out very much because we're not massive foodies and obviously the pandemic. However, our little treat is going for a nice walk and a nice coffee. Since lockdown happened, obviously all the cafes and the coffee shops were closed, so we had to fend for ourselves and we managed to perfect the home oat milk latte. So that saved us a fair bit in coffee costs. I come from a family of entrepreneurs. Both sets of grandparents own their own business and my parents also own their own business as well. So my desire to start my own side business was almost inherent, as was my interest in business and finance. The entrepreneurial flame has been burning inside me for a long time, and only in 2020 have I managed to scratch that itch. Before that though, I actually went to the University of Winchester, which is based in a small town in the south of England, where I studied accounting and finance before moving up to London with my girlfriend of five years. I did in fact take out student loans in order to study my accounting and finance degree. However, there's a big misconception that student loans are actually these big debts, big scary debts like they are in the USA. However, in the UK, you only pay back your debt when you earn in excess of $34,000 per year. And on top of that, the debt doesn't actually go on your credit file and is written off after 30 years. So a lot of people see it more as a student tax rather than a student debt. I'm a big believer in what doesn't get tracked slash measured doesn't get improved. So therefore I track my workouts, track my food, my net worth, my stock portfolio, and of course my budget. So I'm currently taking full advantage of my company pension where my employer actually matches 6%. Alongside this, I have a couple of tax-free accounts which are called ISAs, one of which is used for my first property and the government will actually give me a 25% bonus up to £1,000. The second of which allows you to deposit $25,000 per year into this account and all of the capital gains and the dividends are tax free. So all of these are putting me on the right track to achieve financial independence. My plan is to increase my income and let the powers of compound interest work for me and hopefully down the line I can live off my investment income. I started my YouTube channel on personal finance and investing back in August 2019, as it's something I've wanted to do for a long time, but I didn't think I was entertaining enough or informative enough, so I put it off for a while. But thanks to a big influx of people wanting to get into investing during lockdown, it has allowed me to help a lot of people learn how to manage their money better and get investing. My channel since then has actually grown from 170 subscribers all the way up to a community of just under 3,000 subscribers and has generated just under $5,000 in revenue. 
One of the reasons I started my YouTube channel was to help people. And I think it's terrible that we're not taught about how to manage money and how to invest when we're in school. So I'm hoping that I can help people become more financially savvy and be better with their money. And at some point I would love to be able to pursue my YouTube business full time and help more people become financially literate.